Please come and help us, this mother cries. She's one of many desperate parents begging Nigerian authorities to help find their children. More than 300 students, some as young as eight, were taken by gunmen who raided their school in Kaduna. Astonishing prophecy. Zimbabwean prophet Michael Sello leads to safe rescue of kidnapped students in Nigeria. In this gripping video, witness the remarkable prophecy of prophet Michael Sello from Zimbabwe, whose prophetic abilities played a pivotal role in the rescue of 287 kidnapped students in Nigeria. The students were abducted during an assembly at a school in Kaduna State, causing widespread concern and anguish. Prophet Michael Sello, on the 16th of March, via all his social media platforms, emerged with a stunning prophecy, declaring that he knew the precise location where the children were being held captive. All 287 of the school students abducted in northern Nigeria earlier this month have been freed. The victims, some as young as four, were taken from their school in Kuriga in the northern Kaduna state earlier this month. It's not yet clear yet if a military operation freed them or if a ransom was paid. We will try as much as possible to ensure that every child... Filled returns. with conviction, he urged the Nigerian state security to contact him offering to reveal the exact forest and spot where the kidnapped students were being kept. To everyone's astonishment, a Nigerian individual reached out to Prophet Michael Sello, seeking to obtain the critical information that could be relayed to the Nigerian army. With unwavering faith, the Prophet disclosed the precise location as he believed it had been revealed to him by divine intervention. Calvary greetings, Nigeria. I hope I find you well, remember, when you are down to nothing, God is up to something. I was in a prayer marathon last night and I happened to fall asleep and a divine angel visited me and traveled with me to the Republic of Nigeria in a vision. And I was taken to a forest where I was made to see people marching. They looked drained, starved, exhausted, and most of them were even praying deep within their hearts for God to rescue them. The Holy Spirit said, the people you are seeing here, these are the 208 or 7 plus people that were kidnapped. So I'm going to give you a solution to relay so that these people can be rescued. The kidnappers that kidnapped these people are just puppets. They are main powers behind the scenes that are sponsoring these activities. And these are individuals that are working in cahoots with criminal gangsters seeking to blackmail and overthrow the Tunubu government. So one of the key people in these operations is not a Nigerian. He is from Niger. His name is Hajara, who comes from an area called uh, Agadez or something like that. The other individual is a Nigerian. His name is Mohammed, who comes from Bono State. These are the main undergroup operators, but they are forces that are political that are sponsoring these activities. The Holy Spirit revealed that the people that are being recruited to manage or to perform these kidnappings are psychopaths, are, psych are drug addicts. They do not even care about their own life. So the Holy Spirit revealed that the Nigerian forces should not use ground compact because if they are to do so, these people who retaliate and even kill most of the victims. So the challenge we are having right now is that the Holy Spirit revealed that the number of these kidnapped people is now overwhelming the kidnappers, meaning they cannot provide food, water, and other necessities anymore. So the Holy Spirit is saying their plan is to kill three quarter of these kidnapped people and remain with just a quarter that is easily manageable 
so that when they will finally push for ransom, they will lie that all the people are alive and well. Let the ransom be paid and they will be released. Only after the ransom has been paid, they take the money and it will now be discovered that they killed three quarter of these kidnapped people. But the good news is that as we speak right now, most of them are still alive and God wants to intervene. So the strategy that should be used, the Holy Spirit revealed that the Nigerian army should use a, a, a surveillance drones. So what will happen is some of these kidnappers, there are three that are usually sent out back into the community so that they can acquire basic uh, commodities for the leaders, such as bread, cigarettes, and, 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 and stuff like that. But the people are being starved. So for these people that are being sent, for them to not issue suspicion or to be caught, they usually take far away votes coming back so that they cannot easily be suspected. So I saw that these three usually operate. There is in this vision I saw there is a there is a mosque. When I was looking at this mosque, is uh, close to a place uh, in Nigeria that they call UBE. Uh, is it UBE uh, Haram? Something like that. UB UBE Haram. UBE Haram or something like that. There, yeah, I don't know whether it's a college or it's a place, UBE Haram. Near that UBE Haram, there is a mosque not far away from UBE Haram. There is a mosque and around that mosque, this is where usually these three operate and take a first pointer from to go now into other places to acquire or to buy uh, what is needed by the group leaders on the ground. So now, the surveillance uh, uh, drones for us to locate these people, the strategy is let a, 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 a drone pilot go back to the exact location of the school where these uh, people were kidnapped. And when he stands on that exact location, let him lift the surveillance drone and drive it towards as if he's going to UBE -E Haram as, it is, as if he's going to the, the, a mosque that is close to that place. The, in between the veiled in that direction, this is where the kidnapped people are. But as it stands now, the Holy Spirit revealed to me the exact place where these kidnapped people are because from this vision, the kidnappers have got two, three places that they use. They usually use a, dilapidate, a dilapidated building. Sometimes they use a cave or a trench. And most of the times they use a shed where they have just made it in the middle of the forest. They put a pole there, pole there, pole there, pole there. Then they roof it to be a shed so that if it rains, at least people will be under that shed. But they are now uh, taking these people under serious, difficult uh, conditions because they are moving them during the night because their main agenda is to find a way they can travel through the forest uh, 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 approaching the Niger border. The reason why they want to be close to the Niger border is because the key leaders of these kidnappers are the most important ones. The kidnappers, they are just being used. So their strategy is that if it happens that it be that they are caught, they could usually, uh, they can uh, they can now enter into getaway vehicles and find their way into Niger and leave these other uh, small uh, kidnappers to be caught or to be, uh, to be charged. So as it stands now, the Holy Spirit revealed to me the exact location where these kidnapped people are. 
but for me to review and give the exact coordinates now it may be dangerous because since i am posting these people this uh, video on uh, on the internet i do not have any connection in nigeria or anyone i know if i had i could have conducted the, uh, the person and reviewed this message so since i'm using internet to convey this message it won't be safe to review the exact location because if they manage to get tipped of this video and it is corresponding exactly where they are they may shift people from that place so i'm asking if possible let the uh, the nigeria national security conduct me or the, the 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 leading church board of all churches in nigeria let the elders from that board contact me so that i can give them the exact uh, uh, location of these kidnapped people and convey this message to them if it will make sense to them then of course they can now put me through other important uh, 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 officials in this matter that i can relate this message so that they can nip these kidnappers and save uh, these people so please let the Nigeria National Security or the uh, the Church Board of Nigeria elders conduct me so that they can survey my prophecy if it makes sense to them they can utilize this prophecy to rescue these people so please contact uh, me on uh, plus two six three seven one eight nine five four two three five but please I, I let it be people that are in this matter, working on this matter, please. There is no time for jokes. I do not want to be contacted by people who will be wasting time. It is the lives of people here that we want to rescue. So please don't play games or take this as a joke. Let the necessary officials contact me so that I can give them the exact location. God wants to save these kidnapped people and bring them back for their parents and Nigeria to rejoice. Please, please contact me so that we help these children before they are killed. Against all odds, the prophecy unfolded exactly as foretold. In a miraculous turn of events, after exactly eight days, the Nigerian army successfully located and rescued all the kidnapped children from the exact forest that Prophet Michael Sello had indicated. True to his words, God had orchestrated their liberation, ensuring their safe return without any harm or the need for a ransom. Join us as we delve into the extraordinary account of Prophet Michael Sello's prophecy, witnessing the power of faith and the incredible outcome that unfolded, ultimately leading to the safe rescue of the kidnapped students. Prepare to be inspired and amazed by this astonishing tale of divine intervention and human collaboration. No ransom was paid because, you know, the president had earlier stated that ransom would not be paid because uh, the government believed that the uh, terrorists, those engaged in such kind of uh, heinous acts, should not be rewarded uh, by... Or, so, and, sir, if, or, no, if I can jump in, if no, if no ransom was paid, what compelled the abductors to release all the students in their captivity? Well, you know, there are many things that can be done uh, in the back channel. And, Such as uh, what? There are, details that, uh, there are details that we may not be able to, to state. But, pre but going by previous experience, there are instances of uh, some concessions that the government feel is not uh, really harmful to the, uh, mm. I mean, to the overall security of the country or will not compromise national security. Mm. So such concessions could be uh, done in a situation like this. Okay, so there could be concessions to abductors, is what you're saying. Uh, concessions made yes. that would not involve the payment of ransom money. Yes. 